Hey guys, Joe here with Doji Trading, and tonight uh, we are going to look over how to set up Spotify on Touch Portal. Now, I didn't see any videos out there, so what I'm going to do is just show you how to get it working, um, because it looks like some people were having some complications, so I figured why not go ahead and make a video on it. Um, <clears throat> and basically what we're going to do is just this right here, where uh, we get it to play a playlist. So, just to give you an example, and fun fact, if you didn't know, if you have Touch Portal Pro... You can run the buttons from here, um, from your little on-screen display by holding down Alt and then pressing on the button that you want with a left click on your mouse. So by doing that, it went ahead and all it did was shuffle. didn't even shuffle, it just loaded the playlist. So we know that it works. And what we're going to go ahead and do is actually load it up together so that you can see or fix any known problem that you're having with importing Spotify plugins into your touch portal. All right, so let's get in it because, you know, I like to try and do things under 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and knock it out. I'm going to go ahead and stop this for now. We are going to go into the plugins. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is turn it off because I already have it in here. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it. Yes. And then, uh, I mean, I guess I really didn't even need to do that. But anyways, so... <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump over to the browser. And the first things first, what you need to do is in the link below, you'll get a touch portal uh, link that'll take you to this page right here. And it tells you that the Spotify page is, our plugin is right here. So what you're gonna do is just go ahead and click on this, on this, it's not even showing my mouse, there it is. So all you're gonna do is click on, go to website here, and this will take you over to the Spotify plugin download from the official site. Um, and just because I didn't wanna get redirected and all that baloney, I just went ahead and have it open here as well. So you can see that you have the download here. This is the official, this is the official developer. If you go into the discord, it's, it's legit. So this is where you're going to want to get it. If you try to load it from over here, um, over in the, I don't even know where, I don't even know where it was. Maybe the guides, guides and help. I can't remember where the plugins were. Anyways, there's a plugin section in here, and I can't remember exactly where it's at. Okay, where did it go? Ah, okay, there you go. So it's under the assets, right? If you try to use this one, which I did, it didn't work. I think it's just a bad link or something fails for some reason, and it, it just doesn't work at all. So anyways, get it from the website, the actual website. That's why I'm posting both links, uh, the Touch Portal website that links you here so that you can go to it so you know there's no fancy or you know fishy business and then that'll lead you over here and what you're going to go ahead and go ahead and download that now i'm not going to go ahead and download it again because i already have one and to be honest with you i see a lot of videos that do it it's just irrelevant right because it's a download link you download it done deal um so all you want to do is come back over to the desktop or your touch portal and then once you're once you've downloaded it come back over here to the cog click on that come on down to where it says plugins and then on this right here, just go ahead and click import plugin and then the touch portal Spotify plugin that you downloaded from the link that was just provided will be loaded up here. And um, that's it. That's really all you do. You click OK and then it'll go ahead and load. Now, once it loads, it's going to say it's, it should say stop and start. Now, what happens is, is that you're going to get two pop ups on your browser. That's going to ask you to authenticate. Now, what I missed on the first time around was the authentication. I did not authenticate it. Um, so I thought then again, you know, something was messed up and Spotify wasn't working. You have to go back over to the, to the browser side, which isn't showing this time around simply probably because I've already authenticated it. Um, it's just an authentication window. It looks just like this and it scrolls all the way down gives you a little, gives you a little code down here somewhere at the bottom, but th none of that is relevant. It's just letting you know that after you authorize it spot, you know, Spotify says, uh, you know, this plugin wants all this at, you know, all this information. Okay. Well, read it over and you're comfortable with it. Hit okay. And then after that, you know, um, authorize it. And once you do, you'll get a code and all that baloney. And it'll say, Hey, congratulations. Great job. You know, you can run the plugin now. Once that's done, go ahead and jump back over to the actual plugin itself. Go ahead and click save now that I'm running it and then come back over to your pages and what I would recommend, uh, or at least what was recommended in the Discord that I read, which seemed to work for me, as I went ahead and just shut it down. I just shut this down, and then I just popped open 
and then I, I shut this down and I shut down my Spotify at the time. And then I reopened Spotify, played music for a few moments, um, and maybe like one song. I let one song run. And then all I did was stop it and jumped back into Touch Portal and then just made a button and came. Um, by then, you should see Spotify as an option. You come down, do whatever it is that you want. I'm going to go ahead and set mine to. Uh, Start playing. What was I using? Hmm. <laughs> I would, there's always like one part in every single video that I make that I get hung up on. Uh, I'm looking. We'll just go play next track. Whatever. So we'll throw that in there. Play next track. Um, next. And put that there. Mm -hmm. Great. Save. All right. So now that button is nowhere to be found because I didn't put an icon on it. So let me see if I can find it. Did I just fail at life? I think I just failed at life. Yeah, because I can't even see anything. All right. Well, anyways, we'll use this one because I already have it on here. So start playing a specific playlist. And then I just went ahead and selected the, the Stream Beats Lo-Fi. Maybe I should just type playlist in here. Okay, playlist, start, playlist, add track, whatever. So anyways, start playlist. You can throw that in there. And we're going to go ahead. I still have time. I'll do the right. I'll do it right. I'll make one button that actually works. All right, so start. And we'll do that. And we'll come down here. And we'll change the icon from the packs. We'll do, you know, be all seen eyeball. And then we'll click add. All right. And then we'll do the playlist again. And that should pop up down here. Playlist start. Okay. Start playlist. Pick one. And then after that, go ahead and click save. And again, if you kind of went over all those steps in order, you should be good. So I'm going to go ahead and alt click this, alt left click. And it looks like it went ahead and started the, looks like it just went ahead and started that up. So that's, that's pretty much it, you know, and then, you know, obviously you set your other commands, your volume, so on and so forth. And I, I mean, I hope that helps because again, I've seen some, um, if there's any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. If there's anything else you'd like to see, just let me know, drop me a line, jump in the discord if you'd like. Um, until next time, this is Joe with Doji Trading. Stay safe out there. And uh, I'm really bad at outros. Have a good one.